Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Wave 2 of the Booster Course Pass has finally been revealed and it is releasing next week with 8 brand new tracks, released tracks coming from past games. Well, that may not be totally true because one of the tracks is actually brand spanking new called Sky High Sunday, which was an ice cream dessert stage based on like this cool mountain mall area. It's a really cool track and it's just crazy that this is technically a new track coming to Mario Kart 8 and really to the Mario Kart franchise in general. Now we're going to actually go over this track and talk about how new does it count because technically this track was leaked a long time ago to be coming to Mario Kart Tour. But clearly, it's here in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe first. So, does it technically count as a new track? Will we be getting a new track in every single pass? Well, let's talk about it. So let's talk about where these tracks are even coming from in the first place. So, Wave 1 kind of had a track that I guess you could put in this category, kind of, and let me tell you why. So, it looks like each wave is probably going to get two Mario Kart Tour stages, at least the ones based on worldwide locations. For instance, in Wave 1, we got Paris Promenade and also Tokyo Blur. In Wave 2, we have Sydney Sprint and New York Minute. And when we look at the placing of these tracks on both waves, you'll notice the first track on each cup is one of these real world location stages. And we can notice the last track of each wave is always one of these unique stages coming from tour but not really based on anything. They're brand new stages. Now, Ninja Hideaway was first released on April 7th of 2021 on Mario Kart Tour during the Ninja Tour. This was over a year before actually coming to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe when the first DLC pass released on March 18th of 2021. 22, so just under a year apart, but it did come to tour first, so technically it wasn't a new stage, and Nintendo didn't market it as a new stage either, since it's already been released. This was just another tour stage that didn't have to do with anything worldwide location-wise. However, we are getting Sky High Sunday, which has never came to tour first, but it is planned to come to tour later on. So a lot of people are saying technically this isn't a new track, this is coming to tour, but hey, this is coming to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe first, this is the first time we're seeing it, this is 100% a new track. Nintendo even gave it the new emblem during the trailer, so yeah, this is a brand new track, it's just the opposite is happening here, opposite of Ninja Hideaway. It's coming to Kart 8 first, and then tour eventually in the future. So does that mean we're getting brand new tracks now in every single wave? Well, not necessarily. Well, if you haven't played Tour, I guess you can say you're always going to get new tracks based on the world locations, but I think these are always going to be unique stages, at least within Tour or coming to Tour. So I'm not going to say that they're all going to be new, but I definitely see us getting some unique stages from that game. And let me give you an example. We have four waves left, which ideally, going along this pattern, only gives us four new unique tracks or unique ones coming from Tour, but there's only one left, and that is Merry Mountain, because we already got Ninja Hideaway, so this is the last one they had to choose from right now. Based on their current timing, the next wave should be around December, which is another four months, if they want to continue to naturally have these come out by the end of 2023, that's got to be kind of the formula. One last one before the year ends. And what better way to end off the year and have one in December than to have Merry Mountain as one of the big highlighted tracks in that pack. Yeah, if I were you, I would definitely get ready and predict Merry Mountain to be in the next pack. Now, if Merry Mountain is included, that would give us three brand new tracks still coming to Mario Kart, which is pretty exciting. Now, just because we're getting three brand new tracks, maybe, doesn't mean that they're going to be anything super crazy, so I wouldn't go out of my way expecting maybe, like, a track based on Sonic the Hedgehog like this mod playing for you right now, or something like Kirby or Metroid getting a track. I think eventually we would see stuff like that in the next Mario Kart, but that's not what this pass is for. I think if we see any more original tracks, they're not necessarily going to be based off of anything, which is cool because we get to see originality from Nintendo once again like the original tracks had. So I would kind of get ready and expect three more tracks coming, but in what vein and what way are they going to look? I have absolutely no clue. The sky's the limit for Nintendo and it's exciting just to know that we could be getting three initial tracks that we've never seen before, even though they would eventually come to tour. These are new tracks, folks. I know a lot of people were trying to tell me that Sky High Sunday doesn't count, but no, it definitely does. This is a really cool track. It's a brand new track. We've never seen it before, and we could be getting three more just like it. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Are you excited to get more new tracks along with old ones being revamped? Let me know what you would like to see and what type of tracks you would like Nintendo to make. Please leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Mario Kart and Nintendo in general. And like always, I'll see you all in the next one. See you guys.